for just the, um, until uh, Johnny has a um, chance to speak. Uh, that'd be yep, great. I can wait until you're done. Okay, yeah, just feel free to. Okay, great. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Uh, hello. Nice to meet you, boss. Yeah, likewise. Um, why aren't you vegan yet? Ah, because uh, I believe that veganism limits you, bro. You don't uh, become perfect unless you consume everything, bro. You gotta be set. You feel me? Um, no, I don't understand. Okay, okay. Let me explain. Let me go more in depth. All right. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, you know, in life. Yeah, you gotta consume vegetables. It's necessary. You gotta consume fruits. They're essential, like water. You gotta consume water. Same with meat. But do we talk about large portions? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. But like, actually, fruits and vegetables—they're not—they're not, they're not ne like. If you want to talk like, what is actually necessary? What we need are calories, right? So like, we need calories, macronutrients, yeah. protein, carbs, um, that kind of thing, right? Fats, yeah. right? Vitamins, carbs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and we can get all of it's those things um, through a plant-based diet. You know that includes fruits, vegetables, beans, that's grains, cool. other legumes. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like vegetables, fruits, you need them. You need to take them to get your. Yeah, your, yeah. but you don't need. To, yeah, and 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 also you don't need to eat animals. Wait, what? No, no, you do. Probably, probably no, no, you, really, you might have a really awesome discovery today. Like, you don't need to eat animals, my friend. Now nah, you do, you do, bro. No, you really don't. Now nah, you do. But can you, can you cite any source that says that humans need to eat animals? Because I can cite very credible sources that say that humans can be, actually be perfectly healthy throughout all stages of life, you know, uh, regardless of any other factors. Sorry? God, you can't, you can't live without me. You gotta take supplements and this and that. Okay, so I can my, address my, that two different ways. In one way, I can say, what's so bad about taking a supplement, right? And that would actually be a perfectly reasonable argument considering the fact that it's either take a supplement or bleed animals out to death. But I'm not even going to do that. I'm actually going to tell you something even better. The, most of the animals um, that you presumably eat are actually supplemented with B12 themselves. So you're actually taking a supplement, but you're getting a, such a low-quality supplement that it's in the form of a corpse, whereas I'm just getting, like, a cleanly manufactured, you know, sublingual uh, drop. Ah, like uh, from the vitamin, you mean? Yeah, I'm telling you that there's a very, very good chance. Like, um, I would say that 80 to 90% of the animals that you eat most likely are receiving either injections or you know, cyanomethylcobalamin, which is B12, added to their feed. Ah, the animals we eat are natural. They come from the farm. But they don't, their bodies don't just, necess don't just intrinsically naturally contain and produce B12 in most cases. Um, they yeah. are supplemented with it as well. So, yeah, yeah. do you still believe that, like, it's, yeah, it's, do, okay, so let's just say that you, let's just say that you're right, okay, that, Animals are a natural repository of uh, vitamin B12. Does that still justify harming, like uh, stabbing an animal to death and, you know, killing their family and everything like that that's associated yeah. with it? Is that all justified? Just like, you know, oh, I don't want to take a supplement, so I'm going to do all this X, Y, Z. Nah, I'm not going to go to an animal's house and say, hey, bro, I'm going to have to eat some of your kids. Nah, bro. Uh, when it comes to killing animals, you gotta look at from it from a natural perspective. Like uh, predators do that. It's the cycle of life, you know. The tiger will eat the gazelle, then the tiger will get old, then the bacteria will consume him, and when he he will help Earth, and then he will grow to become a and a plant will grow in the area that he passed away in, and then the gazelle will eat again, and that's how life is. It's a complete <laughs> Yeah. Like, it's not wrong for me to eat meat. And it's, and it's wrong for me to Because lions do it. You're right. Also, lions do lots of other stuff. Like, you know, if we get started making a list about all the stuff lions do, 
I wonder how many of those things you would also want to adopt in your own set of behaviors. <laughs> Calm down, bro. You don't talk about the things that those animals do in behind the sheep. That's nasty, bro. But uh, <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking about, for example, like sleeping out in a savanna. Like, do you do you like to sleep, you know, in a sheltered dwelling, or do you would you rather sleep out in a in a field, you know, have grass poking into you like like lions do? Uh, no, I would prefer the desert because uh, the, uh, the desert in the winter, brah, it's so cold. Yeah, exactly. It's rough out there. But like, you know, what yeah. if somebody said, what if somebody said, hey, Johnny, you know, you know that lions go sleep out in the cold in the savanna and the desert. Why don't you go? Like, we should be doing that. Why do you sleep in a nice, comfortable dwelling? Oh, they left. Okay. Well, uh, Rich Angel, you are welcome to unmute. Thanks for your patience, by the way.